Well, we were going to do a test and tune again on Lonnie's Colt today, and we still may, but you could probably see the water dripping down in front of us. Yeah. Uh, we're going to find some other stuff to do because it's raining. It's a little wet. Yeah. All right, so Lonnie's doing the jetting. Here, show them what you're wearing. Super cheats. Super cheats. That way you can read the jets. What's the shirt say? I look like, I look like the guy on uh, oh, what's the trailer park. What do we got shirt? You look like Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna clean the carbs. Gonna clean the carb. All right, so Lonnie and I are talking about the jetting, right? It's yeah. a 170, and uh, we went down to a 35 pilot. So it's still fat up top when we're running it. But uh, trying to start it, like we're having to choke it still, even though the motor's warm. Now, the book does did call for a 50 pilot. These things do two different things, right? Your pilot is for starting and idling. It's for when your throttle's closed. So we know we need more fuel down there at the bottom of the curve. But at the top of the curve, we got way too much. So that's why we're going bigger on one and smaller on the other. Does that make sense? And... Nope. In the middle, Lonnie says no. What doesn't what doesn't make sense, Lonnie? <laughs> well, the fact that we're still going so big with it, like that, that seems pretty aggressive. With but uh, what big on what? We're going smaller on the main. I know, but we're going up on the on the idle. Yeah, because we're having to choke pilot. it to start it when it's hot. Okay, that's it'll take out the choke. Yeah, and it'll help with the bog then too. Ah. So we're, we're, we're lean at the bottom, we're fat at the top. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, we don't want to go, we do not want to burn this down. So let's well, stay fat until we, until well, we get there. We're, we're easing it down. We went from a 170 yeah. to a 150. Now the book for the 250 Colt calls for like a 125. But yeah. I don't but think we'll, not, we'll, yeah, we won't get down that, that small. Right? Yeah, it's not that carburetor. So we're not going to get that small. So jetting talk, you know, there's a really good book out there on the internet available for free on how Makuni VM carbs work. And uh, I don't even know where the link of it is, but just go out there and search Makuni VM tuning book. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you should be able to find a free PDF that'll give you a lot of help in understanding this stuff. And I'm going to show it to Lonnie. I need it. Yeah. Carb class. Carb class. Need those carbs. All right, Lon. All right, we're going to have to... We're gonna have to prime this thing, so it's gonna take a little bit. So. Give her, a, give her a squirt. Give her a squirt. Go from there. Really? Wow! You're almost. Open. No, I think you got enough. Hold it wide open and give it a couple. You think so? Yeah. I think, think we're still fat. Probably. You got your choke on. So, yeah, could be. Alright, there's something wrong. Is your kilt? Switches off. Or switches on. Yeah, yeah. Switches on. Alright. Well, tether. Push the tether on a little more. Alright, give her a. Give her another squirt. Give her, a, give her a little more. Squirt, squirt. Right. All right. Fire grade right up. We're gonna get the plug wrench. See if we got spark. Seems a little odd. All right. So it's not wet. Nope. That's dry as a bone. All right. Plug it in and let's check for spark quick. Yep. Then if it's uh, still dry, we'll we'll give it a little squirt right down the spark plug hole at that point. Yeah. All right. They like it there. when you. I'm seeing spark. Oh yeah, I'm seeing spark. You are. Am I not? Am I at, the at a bad angle? Hold on, one more time. Yeah. No, there is. No spark. No spark. All right, now we start unplugging stuff. Hey. We'll uh, bring you back. Okay. So on these old Colts, a little different. On a CDI box, it's a single wire. I believe it's these two for the kill switch right here. Okay. So, uh, all right, hey, give, give her a pull. That disabled all the kill switches. Now we got spark. I can see it. It's just bright. Yeah, it's just bright. 
Okay. Uh, let's plug it back in and see if we still got spark. Maybe it was there and it's just bright out. Could be. I thought I saw it the first pull. But you might have. It's so bright out. Oh, yeah. I think that was it. Give it one more. Yeah, I can see it through the camera that time. All right. All right, so we probably had spark all along, and we're just doing this outside. So, all right, so we're going straight down the cylinder. That should be enough. A little squirty squirt. We should get a pop out of that. Yeah, that doesn't work. Nothing. I shouldn't say that. Well, <laughs> we didn't burn it down. It's still got good compression. What the hell? Come on. Sorry, I got a broken thumb. Broken thumb? How'd you do that? <laughs> well, we'll not talk about that. <laughs> All right. That fine extra long choke cable. All right, girl. Well, I want to connect one more thing. Oh, you think? <laughs> it's got no spark. How many carbs have you cleaned this morning? <laughs> One too many. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That was one. Only one. <laughs> there we go. It was just lack of fuel. to review the footage from last tuning session but uh, it didn't look like any significant change and it's hard to tune out you know when it's wet out when it's rainy when it's gross uh, temperatures warm and it's humid and it's raining did I mention that We're going to have to look at the mixture now. Uh, it may just be that the, the clutch is shifting out too hard. So we might even get into the secondary, wind that spring tighter. I'm not sure. But uh, there's just so many things it could be. It's, it may not be the mixture. All right, I'm going to take it for a quick one. Yeah, you try it. Just tell me what it's doing. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's like full on raining right now. So this might be a part of our battle. It's, it's pretty wet, but uh, we're gonna keep giving it a go. Boys, 
eating the garbage. All right, we got a little. Let's give you a little recap on that. Um, I made some comments that it didn't seem much improved, but that was before I wrote it. Um, I feel like we got more RPMs. We we've got more RPM on the top end of the curve. Yeah. Um, it's still a little weak coming out of the hole, but that that pink spring has definitely helped. Yeah. Um, the uh, I was glad to see you reset that idle a little bit. We got to um, look into that. There might be a vacuum leak or something. Yeah. Something's crazy there. Yeah, it was running pretty. It was running away with us there a little bit. Um, but yeah, I I still feel like it's a little bit fat coming out. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely got more top end, but I think I think we can get more out it's of it. Almost four oh, degrees out, it, and it's raining. It's, I, 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 so I, yeah, I told the camera that I, yeah. when I was talking to the camera when Lonnie was turning around, I mentioned I got to look into the clutching, maybe tighten the secondary spring. Well, I leaned way over to the handlebars and peeked down around the belt guard, and when the, when it was held pinned, it did not shift out at all. So it's definitely not clutching that's holding us back it was staying in the lowest gear ratio that Air whole time mixture yeah it's it's still going to be the carb that's holding us back so it's pretty hard to do on a sled like an indy but on an old sled where you can take the hood off and you can actually watch what the clutches are doing yeah you you could tell if you're bogging because you're shifting out too hard because you'll see your primary will close and your secondary will open and that'll that'll hold your r's back real yep. bad yep. yep um and that is definitely not what was going on so, I would say my observation on the bogging out of the hole, it's getting better, but that and the way it's revving up at idle and seems like maybe an air leak, okay. I think we're going to go up to the 60 Pilot that I bought for it and give it a test. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it might be a little lean. And then um, we probably would go down another size on the main. That's what I was thinking, too, is maybe go down to a 140. Yeah. Um, do you want to do that today, or do you want to wait till the weather's better? Because part of the part of this is we could dial it in for today, and when it when it's twenty degrees colder, it's going to be way fat again. Yeah, yep, exactly. And we're also trying to judge launches in the mud, where the skis are gripping to the mud and the dirt and the wet dirt. Yep. And yeah. there's no loop. Well, there's water on the slides, I guess, because it's raining, but yeah, yeah. it's not the same as snow. So it's it's hard to tune for that. Um, if you're tuning for grass drags, that's great. You're tuning for grass drags, but you're going to have to retune for snow if you, you know, unless you're one yeah. of those guys that just leaves the snow tune in and wonders, why is my sled so slow at the grass drags? <laughs> I just say, since you got all the parts, <laughs> wait me. for a nice cool day. Yeah. It took us, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. So, uh, yeah. I, it, yeah, I think we're going to be done tuning for today, but uh, we do have something else to do on it. Yeah, time for... Spreaders, ski spreaders. Going to put some ski spreaders uh, on. Tommy, just... Tommy found some ski spreaders for me. Thank you, Tommy. The uh, uh, exact same spreaders I got on my '72. They're the normal yeah. spreaders, so we know they'll bolt up because I already did it on this one. There you go. And the nice part is that I, it'll it'll take that front end a little wider, oh, a little yeah. more stability. Um, I like that. Yeah, and it won't hurt the turning. <laughs> won't hurt the turning at all. That thing no. turns like crap right now. Yeah. <laughs> Which is which is why you and I ended up well, taking the big long the big yeah. loop. <laughs> oh yeah, nothing turns good in this slop. Right? No, no, well, the track the too. track's got way more traction than the skis right now. Well, yeah, it's got new. It's got all them re reassembled cleats on it. Yeah, yeah and and there's no snow. <laughs> and so there's no snow. the track can't really pivot, you know. Yeah. So all right, there you go. We'll bring you back with a little ski spreader fun. Doesn't seem like this is going to be a super long episode. Sorry, guys. But uh, sometimes the weather and things just don't work out in your favor. This is definitely one of those seasons. That's why we call it Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You have a bottle. You have a bottle and a rinse. You well, go. You just wanted to find out if it would start. Yeah. That's oh. <laughs> Dennis is making blue smoke. <laughs> Who pulls? It pulls. Yeah. Two pulls. All right, so uh, we're just going to pull them off right here. It's kind of dark in here, but we're just pulling the cross bolts out of the spindles, which you would probably gather from the next scene. Is it snowing yet, or is that rain? Yes. It's a, it's Yes. It's, it's yes. a mix. It's not like accumulating snow. No. It's, it's, 
too excited. It's doing pretty, the everything. It's pretty in, wet. Yeah, it's doing the everything in between today, which is. Boy, I'm sure glad we decided to do the test and tune first and then work on the skis later. This is super nice to have a muddy like this. <laughs> That's all right. We can. All right. We, we'll live. Here's my recommendation, Lonnie. Yeah. Let's pull out either the back pins or the front pins so we can flip the springs over and get the impact on the nuts. Ah, good idea. Yeah, that's the best way to do this. Okay, roger that. Nah. All right, so here's the pattern on my uh, 72. That's exactly what we're going to set Lonnie's up as. Uh, we're going to push them forward and down. You could put them back and up. You can flip them several different ways. But uh, this is the way we want to set this sled up for Lonnie. Worked real good on this cold. Oh. Um. <laughs> what is that? Not good? Better? Really? Yeah, so we'll be fixing those today, too. Yeah, but they're flexible. Yeah, that's not good. That's uh, not good for holding your front end alignment. <laughs> All right, so here's my fix. I'm going to weld a couple washers on there. Um, gravity only works one way, so shove it to the top and then make sure it looks real square and that's it. And then weld. So I'll be back in a minute when I'm done welding. It'll be a repaired ski saddle. All right, there's the fix. Welded some washers on. Fits. Works good. That's what she looks like. Good enough. That saddle's fixed. All right, yeah, we're in the final table. final struggle here, Lonnie. Move your hand and show them what it looks like. Yay! There's the spreader. Now we are going to have to realign the skis. There's bolt hole slop and everything else. So the last thing, uh, he's got the slider in up here. He's got this front pin in. The last thing he's got to do is get this rear pin in. Somebody's not working so well. Somebody's going to have to stand on the spring for you. Kind of what I was thinking. And you might have to space it up. You might have to put a screwdriver or something under it. If, the, if it's too low. Yeah. Oh, got it. Well, actually, it looks like it's going to work. No, I need to go the other way. i got to level it. I'm trying. Come on. I can feel <laughs> The struggle, folks. The struggle is real. Nothing's easy. What the hell? Can you put the bolt in from this side? No. Oh, oh, we don't. want the, well, it wasn't in that way. Right, I get you. Does it matter which side the cotter pin's on? Not really. Well, then back it then. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. You're helping. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, move out of there. She's standing in the ski. Daisy's helping, not Daisy help. Daisy is super helpful. Well, I'll go. lick you, Lonnie, while you're doing that. Yeah, she's helping. All right, I got to go we deal with it. my dog. We got Wait, it. Wait, we got it? Yeah. Daisy, Daisy did help? Daisy helped. Her paws on it. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy helping. This is what you needed. Daisy needed to put her paw on it. Good job. Nice work, Daisy. No, yeah, she's shop dogs. dogs. That's her as well. Shop dogs. Shop dogs. Shop dogs. Shop life. We love our puppies. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Good job, Daisy. Good job, Daisy. She's not giving it now back, I need though. to pick she's it up, still though. Still put her paw. <laughs> I, uh, let me have that. Knucklehead. <laughs> All right, we're ready for round I mean, two. Daisy got over here again. She was asleep in the corner. Farley, Farley, you are blocking oh, the camera. Okay, you gonna help? Daisy okay. came over to help. Put a paw, put a paw on it. She was completely Thanks. asleep. Put a paw on that. Come on. Daisy. Oh, there we put go. A, put a paw right there. Round two is way better. <laughs> I just lick you to death. You're, not, you're <laughs> so, helping, not help. Silly puppy. <laughs> oh, what's that white stuff out there? Hey now. Woohoo! All right, we're Looks getting, like more test hits. Yes, I think so. We're getting the skis back on here in our <laughs> completely backlit, poorly lit shop. <laughs> um, we think you know how it goes, so the lighting is so awful, we're probably not even going to show you much. But, uh, you know, slide the bolt in, tighten it up. Yep, That's what we do. Yeah. And then we're going to look at the alignment quick. All right, we'll bring you back. We'll wheel it out where it's a little brighter after the skis are on. All right, so uh, we haven't done any ski alignment, but it's not horrible. Maybe it, the camera's got a lot of fisheye, but they're actually pretty <laughs> parallel here. And uh, I don't know. Take her for a rip, yeah, Lonnie. They, do it. they actually look pretty good. Yeah, I don't think it's going to turn any better or any worse. But 
Well, we, it's, is it wire? It'll be more it stable. Look at that. Lonnie, it'll be more stable. Do you like it when the sled's more stable? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it definitely cooled off four or five degrees. And the humidity is different now, the precipitation. Yeah. It's chilly now. Well, and it snowed. Just pull it. Oh, I love cable type recoils. You giving her full choke? She's yep. full choke. There it goes. Oh, I missed it. Flip your choke. Boy, that sounds so much better than it did a week ago. Everybody's got to get in the act. <laughs> and that's how much snow we have. One pass and it's gone. Oh boy, we got the races going now. We got Brad's golf cart. Dennis, is your fuel turned on? Dennis ran out of fuel right there because he turned it off the, the valve. Typical of Nutter's Feed Shop fun day. <laughs> oh, we still got a ways to go on that but you know if we make a little incremental improvement every time we'll get there eventually the same with snow get a little incremental snow we'll get there eventually i'm not hopeful though Hard to turn with your skis in the air. Well, <laughs> we definitely woke this girl up. So you think the little weather change helped with everything? Oh, a little weather change helped a lot. Well, that's a clue uh, that says we're probably still too fat. Yeah, probably. But we're getting but, in the ballpark. But yeah, I mean, she's definitely a little more crisp than it was before. <laughs> All right, good deal. Yeah, yeah. And right. I love the spreaders. Yeah, that's 
super nice. Actually, it improved the steering, believe me. Oh, yeah, it's turning better? Yeah, it's turning better. All right. <laughs> Good deal. Nicely done. I'm happy. Woo! <laughs> All right, Lonnie's in a great mood. We're going to let him start the closeout. <laughs> this was uh, this was a lot of fun, actually. Uh, for what we had to do uh, at the start of this project, and I and I really did want to kind of keep it as a Gemini, but I was convinced that 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 the Colt idea was a good idea, and I'm, I'm actually now I'm all in. Uh, so putting the putting the Colt hood on and all that that entailed. Um, and even you know all the the clutch work that we did it's it's coming to life this this girl actually came to life today and uh i enjoyed it i really did so it's we're not done fun. the project isn't done oh not even close every time we have a tuning session we want to make some incremental gains we want it to be faster or handle better or something every time we do this well and, don't uh, we don't we still have some skid work to do oh yeah we're gonna change out this whole skid yeah. too yeah gonna put in the 76 TX skid like my 72 Colt that you probably saw in the last video. Yeah, so, it's gonna be uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's a better skid. Um, so we're make, we're getting there, we're making progress. This thing is by no means is it a barn burner at this point. How long no. is the race? How many miles? Uh, 20. That's it, that's all it's gotta last. It's well, well, 20 miles. Yeah, but you wanna be close enough to the pack <laughs> so that you can follow them through the woods so you don't get lost. Oh, yeah, then ask, there's that. Ask me how I know. Well, uh, <laughs> that may or may not have happened. So we want to at least get this thing up to a competitive level where he can at least, you know, shut off his motor and listen for the sound of the other sleds in the distance. <laughs> shut it off? Heck no. We're, I'm not don't do it. that. <laughs> no, don't do that. All right. We're all, we're, Bye. We're, we're, also, uh, we're also hoping to get up there and pre-run a few times. Yeah, it'd be nice. Just so that everybody gets trail memorized. We but, just need ooh. more. We need more of this. Yeah. Like a lot more. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thanks to the patrons. We appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel, uh, taking care of the beer and uh, pizza fun. Much appreciated. All your names are up there. Here's how you get your name up there go to the Patreon page. You sign up there. There's two levels it's the spark plugs or the beer and pizza fun. So, uh, <laughs> get out there, sign up. We'd love to have you aboard. Um, if you're still watching this, that means that you're kind of liking it a little bit. So please hit the subscribe button and the notification. There are some people that are uh, getting uh, mysteriously unsubscribed. So double check your subscription. Uh, hit that notification button so you know that we got a new video out. Um, beyond that, man, what a great day. It's been a good day. It's been a good day in every, the shop. Every Saturday that we spend together working on sleds is a good day, <laughs> it's though. It's always it's a good, good day. We've had one one Monday that was a Monday, but our Saturdays, whew, yep. we're good. Clean the carbs. Clean the carbs, We did boys. start with that today. We did not. Oh, yeah, we did, actually. The carbs. <laughs> we, we did a little carb work well, early on. We did a little carb work, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. If you're still oh. watching, there's some outtakes and stuff Maybe. that the patrons get to see, and there's done some from almost every video recently. That's right, yeah. So, so. if you're considering you want more, you join the patron. Yeah, yep, there you go. All, All right. right. We'll see you on the trail. See you on the trails. <laughs>